have you ever wanted to effortlessly send personalized birthday emails to your contact directly from Microsoft Outlook? In this exciting video, I am going to show you how you can automate the entire process using Power Automate, SharePoint and Microsoft Excel. So before setting up the process using Power Automate, you need to prepare some basic information, starting by creating an Excel sheet or SharePoint list that include the person email address and date of birth. So let's start by preparing the Excel sheet. So I have already created mine, which includes all the members. Some of them are my colleagues, while other are my relatives. In the Excel sheet, I have also added their date of birth and their email addresses. I can also add additional information in the sheet. Now it's time to upload that actual sheet to SharePoint. This process is very straightforward. So I have already uploaded this sheet in my SharePoint. However, you might encounter an issue with the date of birth format. Typically, the date of birth format in Excel does not automatically align with the format in SharePoint. So you will need to adjust the date of format after uploading the sheet in SharePoint. Like this, you can edit the column, change by clicking on more options. There are tons of features in SharePoint. Now next, open your Power Automate account by simply typing makepowerautomate.com in your browser and log in with your credentials. I have already logged in. Once you have logged into Power Automate, navigate to the left hand section of your home page and click on create. You will see several templates over here. So in this scenario, select scheduled cloud flow. So this will open a form to build a scheduled cloud flow starting by entering the name for the flow. So I simply type birthday emails. Next in the run this flow section, select the date. So currently today's date is automatically selected. Then set the time. I prefer select 8 in the morning. In the repeat section, repeat every one and from this drop down select day. So this flow will run every day. So this setup ensure that the flow will automatically run every day at 8 am. Now click on create to move forward to the main area where you can build your flow. So this is, this is the new design. I want to switch this toggle and my classic view will be appear over here. So at the start, you will see recurring option. This option appears because you have already set up a scheduled cloud flow and want to repeat every day at 8 a.m. When you click on this recurring, you will see that it's set to run every day at 8 a.m. You can also edit this if you need to change the timing and frequency of the flow. I also prefer to set my time zone because most of my family members living abroad. This is my time zone. Now click next step. Now you need to retrieve all the items from your SharePoint list where the list of people date of birth and email address is stored. Simply type get items. Click on this get items. Now after selecting get items, you need to provide the site address. So here is my SharePoint. I simply copy the address here and paste over here. You can also click on this drop down menu where all the list associated with that site address will be displayed. Now next is choose your list name. Click here. And this is my list name which I have already saved here. Birthday sheet. So again, 
this is my sheet click on show advanced options there is no such options which are mandatory so i leave all these as it is now click on next step new step now i will add compose action when i type compose i will check out this compose data operation click on it now once you have added the compose action you need to select date of birth from the dynamic content simply click on the inputs and now when you drop down you will see date of birth option now you will see apply to each or automatically appears because this process of this time will be applicable for every flow next what will be the another direction so click on it now we need to add another compose action simply click on add an action again type compose select compose from here now the purpose of adding another compose is we want to get the value in the month and date format and i have already written the formula which is here the first one i simply copy it so this is the function we will use and the output will come from the date of birth column so simply click on this expression paste the formula here click ok it will convert the date to the month mm slash dd format using the format date time function next we will add a condition simply click add an action click on this condition over here so here we want to check if the date comes from this compose2 is equal to today's date i will add a condition block and in this block the first step is to compare the output of a previous composed action so this is the previous compose2 and this is the outputs and i will select is equal to which is already selected by default so in the dynamic content i have to choose today's date so i simply click on this expression and again using the utc function which is the formula i have already created simply copy it you will get both these formula in my description section so i paste the second formula over here and simply hit okay so that will formatted as mmdd format now this is because we retrieving items from the list and they will be in the same format so once you have this condition set up it will check that if today's date matches any item in the list for instance if today's is 31st of july it will check if any item matches that date finally if the condition is met we will send an email to do this i will use send an email action so simply click on add an action type send an email click on outlook 365 now you will see send an email v2 click on it now we have to specify the email address simply click on add dynamic content and here is the email address select it now subject so i type happy birthday i can also use the name of the person so i can again click on add dynamic and select name over here now with every email i send happy birthday is common and the name will change with according to the person email address now in the body of the email you can write any message you would like so for instance you would start with hi and again select the name create your message so i type happy birthday enjoy your day and you can customize the message as you need it now once you satisfy with the setup save the flow clicking on the save button over here since we are not setting any conditions there is nothing additional to configure now 
if you go back to your flow click on my flows you will see birthday emails flow is created now if you want now if you will like to test or run the flow simply click on the flow this flow will take a moment to execute click on run click on run flow your flow run successfully started click on done now scroll down and you will check your 28 day run history now if the condition were satisfied then an email will be sent next open your email to confirm so i click on my email here is my outlook application i select the inbox of my email address and you will see that the email was sent to the correct user with the subject happy birthday in the name and the personalized message you set up earlier so i created happy birthday enjoy your day this demonstrates how you can create and send a birthday message from a people list using power automate so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button share it with your friends and office staff and subscribe to the channel and make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss an update